Hello, everyone. This is Clay Radford. So glad you could join me here on my very first webinar. I've never done one before, but uh, plan to expect a lot more of these coming from Radford Media Group and RMG Digital Creative. Um, as you see here, this is the Brick and Mortar Plus Digital Marketing Seminar. Uh, we're supposed to do this live and in person, but due to uh, the influx of COVID-19, we had to make this just a webinar. So we'll get underway here in just a few minutes as we see if a few more people jump online with us. And uh, hopefully you'll be able to sit back, take some notes, rewind this and watch it as many times as you would like as this is being uh, recorded uh, for uh, just for able to be able to do go back and do that. So if I stumble or if I get caught up on something, just bear with me here. It's one of these things that this is the first time I've ever done a webinar, um, but it's more and more common that people are doing webinars, doing Zoom meetings and all the fun stuff like that because of COVID-19. And that's kind of what we're gonna jump into um, with brick and mortar, um, your, your business located on a square, located on Main Street, located um, in shopping centers or wherever it is around town. With COVID-19, you never know where things are, are gonna take us and and you need to do a little bit more um, digital marketing. You, you've always thought, oh, I need to do it. I just don't know how to do it. I don't know where to begin. Well, we're on time to jump into that here in just a few minutes. So give you just a few more minutes here, maybe a couple seconds and we'll see if anyone else jumps on and we'll go from here. So hold on tight, we'll get ready. We'll get going here in just a minute. All right, this is the Brick and Mortar Plus Digital Marketing Seminar. My name is Clayton Radford. So glad you could uh, join us here on today's um, webinar. Glad you could join me. Of course, uh, a lot of you may know me as uh, as a radio personality. Um, Radford Media Group, of course, uh, KDKD 95.3, Rock 104.9, and uh, 1280 AM, KDKD AM um, are my three radio stations. Also just launched uh, RMG Digital Creative. And this is exactly what you're gonna to learn today is a digital creative marketing agency and how you can take advantage of that. And we're gonna show you some uh, ideas that, that you can instill in your company. Also, I'm um, the uh, founder and CEO of RFT Holdings, as well as the host of Market Share, the Entrepreneur's Podcast. If uh, you're a business owner, most likely you are, that's why you're on here learning about digital advertising. Um, we'll talk about podcasts later, but my podcast, listen to it, subscribe to it. I talk about marketing tips, advertising ideas. Uh, I share personal stories, my trials and, and tribulations, my tragedies and my triumphs um, through being a business owner. I'm only 34 years old and I've owned a, a large uh, entity here in West Central Missouri now for three years, uh, which is Radford Media Group now. But we uh, negotiated with uh, one of the largest radio corporations in America to purchase these radio stations. We learned a lot of lessons uh, being a um, business owner as well as uh, buying away from corporations. And we had to go through a lot of things, been through a lot of lawsuits in uh, my short period as, as a CEO. Um, and I share a lot of those stories so you can connect with me on the Market Share podcast and you can learn from some of my mistakes and uh, say, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to buy a radio because that sounds like a headache. Trust me, you'll probably, you'll probably definitely say that. But for the purposes of our webinar today, we are talking about digital advertising, marketing. What is digital advertising? There's a lot of different things. People get worried um, that, you know, they don't know if they're doing enough, they're doing the right amount of digital advertising. They don't even for sure where to begin with digital advertising. You may be in that boat. Where do I begin? What do I do? I, I know I need to do it. I have people have been telling me for years that I need to do these things. I have a Facebook page. I have a website or or I don't have a website, just a Facebook page. But uh, I don't seem to get any extra business from it. Well, let me explain and, and tell you how to be using these assets to generate revenue and grow your business from the ground up. Right here, this is the ways that you can advertise your business. Of course, with a website, Facebook page, a YouTube channel, Instagram, TikTok, blogs, Google ads, Facebook ads, YouTube ads, podcast, email marketing, display ads, SEM, SEO, I'll explain what those are, retargeting ads, Alexa skills, mobile apps, and many other ways. There's a lot, there's, a, there's plenty of things out there in the digital landscape for you to be able to advertise your business. But what is the best way? There's a lot of these things and I don't even know how to 
uh, advertise my business or why I would need to advertise my business on TikTok. It's something my teenager uh, sets over in the corner at home and, and is on and I hear these songs and see people dancing on TikTok. Why would I need to advertise my business on there? Well, I'll tell you why here in the coming uh, coming minutes, but these are different avenues. There's, there's a, lot of, a lot of things to absorb, but just know from the get-go, you don't need to do all of them. You need to establish a business media strategy for your business. Each business is unique, but they all should have one thing in common. They should have a media strategy. Identify those key platforms that you want to target an audience on. It could be TikTok. It could be Facebook. could be uh, from your website, your Facebook page, whatever it may be. Focus on a target customer group. We're going to maximize your return on your investment. Align your digital with your traditional marketing. I'm a big traditional marketing guy myself because, well, I own radio stations. You can't get any more traditional than a 100-year-old uh, uh, medium platform, which just celebrated 100 years last year. So radio has been, a long, been around for a long time and uh, pro proven success for years and years and years. And also, uh, having a media strategy establishes your branding. And uh, growing your branding is, is so key and so vital. But really take your time when, when you're putting out your strategy. You need to have it work with your radio, work with your newspaper ads, work with your sponsorships, work with everything else you do, but include digital in it as well. We all set aside at the beginning of the year a, a, a budget number. We put that number uh, budget number to the side, say, okay, uh, X amount of dollars are going to my marketing and advertising. Here's what's doing. Here's what's going to do for me. Well, you need to include a little bit of digital in that. And let, let me show you how we're going to do that with a lot of ideas that I'm going to share with you today. Content is king. Content on your website, content on your Facebook page, YouTube channel, whatever it is, content is king. If you want people to connect with your business, you need to connect with them, not through an ad. Contact, uh, connect with them through the content that those ads provide. You know, a, a blog post is original content that you would write about your business. And you don't have to do it every day, but, but by writing a, a blog post on your website, people can read it, they can learn that you might have two or three uh, kids, you might have a family pet that always causes trouble when you're trying to do some work late at night, uh, or whatever. People can relate to the content that, you're, that you could produce. And again, it creates brand loyalty through the content that you produce. That's kind of the overall statement that we're going to talk about today is how do you create content and how how does it affect and, and raise that growth line for your business. It's all in the content that you produce to put onto your digital platforms. So you have all those platforms and you're like, well, which ones am I going to use? Through the media strategy, you determine you're going to use Facebook, YouTube, and your website. Those are the three areas you're going to target really hard. But now you got to make sure the content on your website it's up to date, it's current, it's good to go. You might even have a blog on there with content that you update on a regular basis. Uh, your pricing on your website, all of that is your content. How good is your content? And then on your Facebook page, you might have uh, stories and uh, videos and pictures and uh, hey, we got a sale going on. You got you to keep that content fresh on the Facebook page. And same with the YouTube channel as well. Video is, is big as well, and that's part of the content. We'll dive into it again. As I just said right there, once you have a media strategy in place, you need to focus on having original content. Original content separates your company from others and relates to your target audience. Build that relationship with them through the content that you produce. As I said, you can put a blog on your website. You can uh, have uh, on your YouTube channel, you can have showcases of certain products or services you offer educational videos of how to use those products and services. And uh, you can ha do how-to videos. You could do like a DIY type uh, a YouTube channel. You can use a lot of different content on a YouTube channel that will reach an audience. You know, YouTube is the second largest search engine on the internet behind Google. Think about that. When people are searching um, for something that, you're, that you offer in your business and, and they search it, and boom, Google goes out and gets the gets content from itself, which they own YouTube. So they're going to go to YouTube, search all those keywords that are over on YouTube, and boom, pull those into their search results and forward people to 
uh, a YouTube channel that could be yours that you could be showcasing a product, the one that they searched on the internet, they want to know how to use it. You can show them how to use it. They'll trust you, gain that trust and come work with you and come buy that product from you. Also, social media pages, Facebook, Google+, Instagram, TikTok, even Snapchat. Um, those are all different types of content that you need to be putting on each of those if you have them. If you don't have a TikTok account or a Snapchat or a Google Plus account, that's okay. Focus on one or two until you can scale up to three or four. Take your time, but that's just ways of content that you can produce and get it out there. Also, podcasts. I told you I was going to talk about this a little bit later on. Podcasts are so cool because you can put together episodes. They can be five-minute episodes. They can be 15-minute episodes. They can be an hour-long episode. Podcasts are on the rise. More and more people are listening to them. And the content that you can share about your business, about you personally, share your story. Your story will connect with somebody. And when they connect with you through your story, they will be customers for life. And the best way to get that crossed is with a podcast. We'll dive more and more in depth into the podcast here in just a little bit. We'll start off with a website. Why is a website important? A website can help small businesses increase flexibility, control, branding, and credibility. Speed for a website, 40% of customers will abandon a website that takes longer than three seconds to load. So make sure your website loads quickly on a computer as well as on a mobile device. Mobile-friendly websites increase nearly 60% of searches now are from those mobile devices and 50% of those mobile searchers visit a business they are searching less than 24 hours later. I'm guilty of it. I'm sure you are too. You know you're going up to the city and uh, yeah, I'm going to go to Target. What does Target have going on? You jump on your cell phone, you search out Target, you go through, you say, oh, what if they have this? Oh, you know what? You can actually find that they do have that product in store in the, in the area you're going to. And so you can go up there and buy it and boom, because Target has a mobile friendly website, you can do your research ahead of time and take it with you so you can stand right there in store to make your purchasing decisions. Buy now, smartphone users uh, also are 50% more likely to uh, expect to purchase something immediately while using their smartphone compared to a year ago. After the pandemic, everyone's on their mobile devices, they're stuck at home, they're, in, they're, they're not getting out very much anymore. Online buying and online shopping has just gone through the roof I seen a stat the other day while I was at the Missouri Broadcast Association's uh, convention. A stat was presented that said that in 2020 alone, online shopping was uh, doubled or actually quadrupled itself at least by five years just in 2020 alone. So what took five years to build in 2020 did that in itself. So because people are stuck at home, more people are having to get online, having to buy stuff online, shipping it to their house, even if it's pickup, uh, remote pickup or whatever it may be, more people are buying online. Your contact info, 65% of customers wanna see contact information immediately on the website's homepage. So that is something that you may look at your website and say, hey, I don't have a phone number or a way uh, they can contact me, an address or uh, email address or a phone number, whatever that may be. Get it on your home pages. And I mentioned just earlier, a blog. 75% of customers research a product before purchasing. A blog post showcasing a product will rank you higher in online searches. Again, you could do a blog, which is a written content with pictures on your website. You could do a vlog and put it on your website, but also put it on a YouTube channel. So there's these, these sources all crisscross throughout the whole process as well. You'll, you'll learn that as we go through all the different types of content that you could be producing for your website. Uh, hey, right here it is, YouTube channel. Video is a great visual representation for your business and let your customers know that you are more, get to know you on a more personal level. You can also use video to live stream events or even staff training purposes. You can create, um, if you have a special process in your business, you can have someone come in, record you going through the training, give it to new hires, it frees you up from having to show every new hire the same process of doing um, stocking the shelves or, or taking payments or whatever that may be. You video that, you could use that video on a YouTube channel to show all your new hires. It's just, it's amazing what can be done with video these days. That's just, that's an internal way you could use YouTube 
external. Like it says, you could live stream events that your, your business is a part of and uh, get more things out there or uh, how-to videos are, are really big as well. A lot of people are going, they're stuck at home during, during the COVID crisis um, and we're not getting out as much as we used to. They're stuck at home. They're, they want to add a new gutters to their house. They're going to jump on YouTube and find out how to do that. People are 50% more likely to read a story on social media with a picture attached. That is a fact that there's a picture with a body of text. Someone's going to stop, look at the picture. The picture will catch their attention. They'll go back and read the text. But 80% are more likely to watch a video than read anything while using social media. We are visual creatures. According to Forbes, in 2020, an estimated 100 million people listen to a podcast each month, and that is expected to reach 125 million by 2022. Think about that. That is a lot of people listening to a mobile radio show. Think about that. I'm a radio guy. If you could have a mobile radio show every week come to your phone or every day, depends on how often they produce it. You could send out a mobile radio show about your business to hundreds, if not thousands of listeners out there. Now you might say, there's not that many people here where we live in West Central Missouri. You're right. You're absolutely right. But what if you could start getting online orders from somebody in a state over or on the East Coast or on the West Coast or down South? What if you could get people to find your podcast on the Apple Podcast Network or, or on Google or, or wherever they listen to podcasts? What if they come across your podcast and they connect with you through listening to it and then you start selling your products, you start talking about your products or your services, then they say, hey, I need that in my life. I need that at home. The wife would like that or the kids would love that. Whatever it is you provide, you educate a audience through a podcast and it's on a network that reaches millions of people daily. And yes, it takes a little bit of time to build that up, but by episode 25, you'll have hundreds of downloads already and people will be listening, connecting with your business and your business will be growing, growing and growing. You know, you can see the charts here. Podcasts are steadily on the rise. Look at it way back in 2016. That's just incredible. And all the way up to 2020, it's just gone through the roof. I can't believe it. I'm an avid podcast listener. I own radio stations. My radio stations has its own podcast network as well. I can get your business on my podcast network and get a podcast going for you. We even provide studio time for you to come in and record it. We produce it. We help you get it, uh, all, all the branding and all that put together with it as well. We can get you on our network. We can get your business in front of hundreds of thousands, if not millions of listeners to podcasts, especially if your business is uh, uh, a specific area that you work in or, or you cover or you're, you're a very unique item to a specific industry, then that gets searched a lot on the internet. Your podcast could pop up in internet searches. People could subscribe to it, listen to it. They can connect with you. That content that you produce can connect with the customer and it will send your business through the roof and hopefully it'll look like these charts up, 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 and up. Not saying a podcast is right for your business. It may not be, but there is podcasts as content availability as well. Social media. My goodness, my goodness. Has social media been beat up a lot lately? Of course, uh, we hear all the negative stuff about um, social media when it comes to uh, the, the, the recent elections or um, fake news and all the stuff that's on social media. I don't, I don't believe it. It's, you know, it's on social media. Anybody can put stuff on social media. Yeah, you're right. Anybody can. It can be fake. It can be um, over politicized. But social media is an essential part of your business. It allows you to connect with your customers on a more personal level while forming brand loyalty and awareness about your business. People follow their favorite companies on social media to discover entertaining content, give feedback, and get a first look at new products and services. Keep your followers engaged to grow your audience and build that brand loyalty. What you need is a presence on key social media sites, including Facebook and Instagram. By the way, Facebook owns Instagram. There's an app out there that you can use. You can post one time and it goes both to Instagram and Facebook. 
Um, I can dive into that more on a personal level if that's something you didn't know about or you'd like to learn more about. I can definitely work with you and tell you how to do that. You can. You don't have to take the same picture and post it twice. You can post it one time and it goes to both Facebook and Instagram. A steady stream of content relevant to your best customer's interest. If you have one piece of uh, a product that you sell or a service you offer, and that's your popular item, doing content on social media around that item or that service, that will only help grow more sales for that. Uh, find a way to new customers. Of course, people is always discovering uh, about new businesses on social media. I'm sure we've all have done that. Some goals that you want to set for yourself with social media is relevant and timely con content posted to your social media profiles. Have you ever gone to a business's Facebook page and you look at it and like, oh, that's pretty neat. But then you start looking, oh, that was posted two, three years ago. Huh, I wonder if they're still in business. You pick up the phone, you call, oh, this this number is no longer connected. Well, that business is outdated. Well, having relevant and timely content on your social media profiles lets people know that you are active, you're doing things online, and that you are um, up, to, up to speed with what's going on in the, in, in the world these days. Because if you get left behind, as we all know, people think you're outdated and don't keep up. I recommend Posting content to your Facebook page at least once a day keeps people engaged, keep people coming back. Get into your target audience, get into their inner circle. That's the best way you can uh, do it is through social media, is talking to them on a consistent basis over and over. Another uh, digital uh, piece of content, this one takes a little bit of time. I'm not gonna lie, this one takes some time. Um, but if you're a really good writer, this, this may be something that will be able to effectively work for your business. It's email marketing. It's an effective way to connect with potential leads, nurture them, and convert them into loyal customers. Email marketing is huge. I know many, many, many online millionaires just from the email marketing world. There are many different ways to connect with your customers with email marketing, from promotional incentives to company newsletters to new product announcements and much more. Email marketing is very cost effective and lets you connect with your customers on a more personal level because it's directly to them in their inbox. They can read it when they like. <coughs> Excuse me. You know, you can build up a customer database, you can have a lead generation database, and you can have a retargeting database. And building these databases can get a little time consuming. You collect you collect email addresses and you collect and you collect and you collect and then you put them into these different databases. Um, someone who's bought something from you before, that would be a retargeting and a customer database. Uh, someone that's thinking about buying but hasn't bought yet. Well, that would go in our lead generation database. You can build these up. You can fire off an email that says, hey, if you're interested in this product we're offering or this promotion at this time, be sure to check it out. That would go to probably your customers, retargeting and your lead generators. But if you have somebody, hey, we've seen that you was on our website, but you haven't been back recently. Have you thought about this product again? Here's all the ways that it can benefit and, and, and provide you with a solution. That's all what we're, that's what we all sell our solutions. And uh, um, that would be a retargeting email that you would send out to a customer that hasn't quite bought or maybe has bought, but hasn't been back for a while. That's what would be in the retargeting database. All right, now we're gonna kind of dive deep, deep, deep into actual ads on the internet. When people say advertising online, isn't that like those little images that show up on the side of the page that you click on um, or, or those things that I'm scrolling on Facebook and they pop up in the middle, they say ad, but the guy's trying to sell me something. <coughs> That's exactly what digital display advertising is. It is, it, it refers to the process of advertising a product or service through visuals like images and videos on networks of publishers' websites, such as the Google Display Network, Facebook, and etc. You can see all the list of uh, networks down below. Display ads are placed on a relevant third-party website in the form of banners, images, text ads even, and so on and so forth. You know, have you ever searched something on Google in uh, like the first three businesses that pop up, it says ad beside it? Those are text ads and they pay a lot of money to be featured under that keyword that, that you just searched for. You typed in baseball glove and 
somebody, Rawlings, has selling baseball gloves, so their keywords are baseball glove. They want to show up number one, so they pay Google a lot of money to show up number one in that sponsored ad, which is called SEM. I told you earlier we'd talk about that. That is search engine marketing. You pay all that money to get featured high up in those ad spots on Google searches. Organically, if you want to show up there, you have to put those keywords in your blog post, on your websites, and then you'd be the first one that would show up right below those ads. That's an organic search lead from those keywords. I could really dive into keywords. That would be a whole different session. If you're wanting to get into digital display ads, this is something that, that will take you to the next level. This is probably the, 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 the fastest way to advertise your business and get growth for it. We've all seen... Um, where we posted something on our business Facebook page that says, boost this ad. Boom. You boost that post and it turns it into an ad. It has to go through an approval process. You put $50 behind it. It gets $50 worth of uh, views or clicks or whatever it is you choose. Um, my company can help you with all of this. We can get video ads on YouTube, um, ads on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Google, Snapchat, TikTok, Yahoo, all those networks we can get your business on. Uh, we can sit down, talk about it, put together from your media strategy the best way to move forward. <coughs> Excuse me. Those Google AdWords I talked about that appear um, over 2 million websites at the top of searches um, in over 650,000 apps. So your ad can show up wherever your audience is. With millions of websites, news pages, blogs, and Google websites like Gmail and YouTube, the Google Display Network reaches 90% of the internet users worldwide. With specialized options for targeting, keywords, demographics, remarketing, you can reach more customers, encourage them to notice your brand and consider your offerings and take action. Multiple ad formats, we've already talked about, text, banner ads, or videos. Uh, target by uh, location, zip codes are a big thing, by keywords, demographics, uh, remarketing, and so much more. I've kind of already touched on uh, a lot of this uh, target people that are in a certain market or, or they're getting ready to buy something. They're in market for the object. It's certain product based on relative activity. You can do that as well. The best example of that is having you ever been like sitting around with, uh, with a couple of your friends and you're all uh, maybe drinking a few adult beverages and all of a sudden um, you're, you're, you're talking about a, a camping trip that you guys have planned to Colorado uh, later this year or something. And then, and then, an hour or two later, you go home and you're thumbing through Facebook or, or you're searching something on the internet and boom, you start seeing ads for Cabela's and, and Bass Pro and, and camping gear and all that stuff. That right there is targeting people that are in market for certain products based on recent activity. The reason they knew that you were getting ready to go to Colorado, well, whenever you, uh, the day before, whenever you got on your phone to search Places to visit in Colorado, boom. Your phone browser took those cookies and memorized those cookies. And then those cookies went out to all these uh, Google Display Network ads or Facebook or, or whoever buys those cookie information. And they know where to send, <coughs> excuse me. They know where to send those camping ads to because those cookies were out there and gobbled up by the display networks. In this case, Google or Facebook or any of the others that we discussed. We touched on this, we'll kind of go over this fairly quickly. Uh, SEM, search engine marketing, over 80 people, 80% 80 of people search for products, services, and local businesses in Google. How high does your business rank? Of course, uh, organically, or you could do it pay to be placed near the top. Mobile click the call can be found on mobile and allow users to click on your ad on your phone and call your business. 60% of uh, searches are on mobile devices. So if you put an ad out there, as you can kind of see in the little picture, if you can look close enough, there's a call. You can place an ad with a phone number. You click call on your mobile device. It calls right to your store. You can make a sale quicker. Immediate increase in web traffic and leads. Businesses see an immediate increase in traffic when advertising with PPC. That's pay per click. So you're not paying anything to the Googles or any of them until somebody clicks on your ad. When they click on it, that's when you pay them whatever the bid price is. The bid price, you can set that as you are um, setting up your campaigns. If this is something you wanna do, if you wanna be 
Um, if you're selling uh, Pittsburgh paint in downtown Clinton, and my good friend Keith Weston at, at Creative Paints, if you're selling that, he wants to do an SEM. He would uh, pay for a, a keyword such as uh, paint. And I'm going to use something generic here. Yeah, keyword paint, Clinton. And then um, every time someone searches for that and your ad is clicked on or his ad would be clicked on, then he pays 20 cents per click or, or whatever that bid price is at the time. I can go through that whole bidding process. Um, it is kind of confusing for purposes here today. We won't dive into that, but uh, you can do that. I'd be more than happy to explain it to you and, and help you budget. That's a little bit, uh, affects your budget a little bit differently, but we can do that. We can help you with that and we can help uh, your business grow with search engine marketing. It's also highly measurable. Gain powerful insights on your ad campaigns, such as how many times your ads clicked on and when and what keywords are used to uh, get the most clicks. Very valuable information comes from SEM. If you really want to get your business growing, um, SEM searching, search engine marketing is really uh, an effective way of doing that because you get so much data on it that way. Now, on uh, going back a slide to on the digital display ads, it's a little bit different because yeah, you get some data, but not as much data. You don't know what keywords were used, but on the search engine marketing, you get those keywords. So take a deep breath. We went over a lot of different stuff. It all comes down to your marketing strategy. Where do you want to target? What do you want to do? How do you want to do it? Content creation is king. Having that media strategy in place so you can use social media, you can use email marketing, you can use video production, YouTubes and all that, and you could use um, your search engine marketing. It all plays a big part of it. Now, somebody might say, well, what's the difference between SEM and SEO? I don't know what SEO means. SEO is search engine optimization. That is something that you use on your website. If you want to optimize your website to rank higher in the search engines, you use SEO. Search engine marketing, SEM, is where you pay to be ranked higher in the search results. That is the difference between those two. So that was the summary. But where do you start? How do I get started? What in the world am I going to do? Um, I, I need a week's vacation just to sit down to figure out how to do this. When do I have time to do this? I'll tell you, it can be overwhelming. But Radford Media Group Digital Creative can help your business do that. We can sit down with you. We can put together that media strategy. And we can really work with you one-on-one -on -one to help you do all that. When you work with my company, Radford Media Group, Digital, Communica uh, Digital Creative, RMG, DC, you own all the digital assets. You own your website. You own your social media accounts. You own everything that you do. You control the budgets. You tell us, tell us how much you want to spend on certain ad campaigns. You can um, tell us when to dial things back or ramp things up. That's all controlled by you. You can add and modify all the published content that we put together. You have complete control over it. It is yours. We're just helping you do that. We're like, you're, it's like hiring an employee to work for you. We assist in developing the digital strategy for your business. We execute that strategy by creating, designing, and setting up assets with your input. It's all for you. We put your ad dollars to work where you see the best results. We write, we produce, and we publish custom content for your digital assets. We provide feedback and analysis to help you better change the flow of where those ad dollars are going. If, if we see Facebook is really getting a lot of return on your investment, we're going to put more time and effort over on that side. Whereas if YouTube may not be generating enough leads, well, then we'll, we'll dial that back a little bit and shift that money over to Facebook. We are here to help you save time. Now. Here's what we're offering. This is where we want to help you. I learned this the hard way. I tried doing all this myself for years and years and years. I tried managing my own social media, trying to get it out there. I had a few people posting a news story to the radio station websites, but we were never getting there. I needed somebody to manage it for me. That's where my team, the idea of building my team came from. And once I, once I put a few people in place, it blew through the roof. It was going crazy. I learned that I hired a team to manage my social media and create content for me. That's when it blew up and that's when it exploded. So what we are offering from Raffer Media Digital Creative 
is social media management and content creation. It's retail values for $9,000. But since you sat here and went through our whole program and learned about all these different ways you can advertise your business, this is exclusively for you guys. We're discounting it down to $5,400. The little asterisk, let me explain. I'm not trying to hide anything. We are very transparent with all we're trying to do. You can pay the $5,400 up front and you'll take care of it for one year, or we can bill you at $450 for 12 months. Of course, cancellations will be charged at a 50% of the remaining cost. Additional costs for video production and ad purchases. Let me explain that for a minute. If your business wants to do a video production, that takes a lot of time and effort to edit it, to shoot it and put it all together. We will help you do that. We can work within a budget for that as well. And we can give you a quote on that video production before we even start doing anything. But that will be an extra expense for video production. Same with the ads. We can design the ads free of charge. That means the graphic designer will go in and design it and create it just the way you like, free of charge. But like Google, if you want that ad to be featured on um, certain websites or things like that, you have to pay for those ads pay per click. The PPC I told you about earlier, the pay per click still comes into play and that will be an addition to your bonus. We'll work with you on that and we can, we can determine that in advance if we must. But RMG Digital Creative does not upcharge any additional fees for those ad campaigns. If, if you say, well, we want to spend $300 on this ad, well, then that $300 is going directly to push that ad. It does not come to uh, RMG Digital Creative. That stays uh, with your ad campaign budget. We are more on the management and the creation side of those. We do not run the ads. Those cost a little bit differently, but we'll set those up because a lot of people don't know how to set those ads up either. It can be very time consuming, filling out all the keywords and trying to get your uh, target demo in there for every single ad. We help with that. That's what we do. But that's it. That's what we're doing. We're making a, we're, 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 we're making it easy for you to grow your business with a social media management and content creation. I know we talked about podcasts, we talked about digital ad displays, we talked about a lot of other things as well that I'm not offering you, but as an entry level, this will get you up and going and you'll start to see return on your investment within weeks of getting content created on your social media pages and letting us manage it for you. Again, you will own everything we do, you will still on your Facebook page, you'll still have access to it. It's still yours. If, if you don't, if someone complains about um, a spelling error or whatever on your Facebook post, which I promise we proofread everything, but if, if that's the case, you can log in and still edit the content that we provide as well. So you still have ultimate control of everything, but we are the management team behind your social media and content creating. If you already have a website, we can write a blog for you. You can also write a blog. We can co-write a blog together and create that content. We can work with you. We can do it all for you. We are here at your service. It's RMG Digital Creative. If this is something that interests you, please give me a call, 660-885-6141, or shoot me an email, clay at radfordmediagroup.com. You can always contact Amber LeBurnery. She is our digital lead at RMG Digital Creative, amber at radfordmediagroup.com as well. You can always go check out our website at radforddigital.com or rmgdigitalcreative.com as well. A couple websites there that take you to the same place. Go check those out. Learn more about digital. Hopefully you learned something today. Hopefully this interests you. If you need more information, contact me today at clay at radfordmediagroup.com. Feel free to give me a call as well. And of course, we all live in West Central Missouri. I'm sure you can see me out and about. If you'd like more information on this, feel free to contact me. Thank you so much for listening. Hopefully I'll talk to you soon. And don't forget, Content is king. Start putting it out there and grow your business. Take care. Have a good day. Thank you.